Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 live stream. This is going to be my first look at the losing to Cersei route. So big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it off. Uh, this route is done by Rivet Games. Um, but yeah, we're going to be checking it out. Um, looking forward to it. It's a short but sweet route, very scenic and you get the flirt train as well. We are playing on the PC version. Hopefully later we can then move on to the PlayStation 5 as well, that's better on console. Um, but for now we'll be on the PC. Anyway, let's see, we've got JP, we've got Ron, Holy Trucker, O'Brien, Biggs, uh, Bacon, we've got Southern, we've got Mr. Adams, Kishore, Superstar, Mint, how's everyone doing? Um, level 43, are we that hard of a level on this one? Let's go into it. Um, losing. But yeah, this one's by Rivet Games and it's available now for 19.99. Well, pretty much 20 quid on PlayStation, Xbox, and it'll be out on Steam at 2 p.m. and Epic Games at I believe 4 p.m. for the same price. Uh, let's do the introduction. Um, uh, losing to Cersei root introduction. There we go. Let's do it. What's it, Southern enthusiast? <laughs> Yeah, I'm all good, Miss Adams. Hopefully, you're all well. But yeah, hopefully, that will be on the consoles. It runs better for me on there. But I don't know about this route, but just routes in general. Welcome to the Espan Central Sways. Here we go. Looking forward to it. Listen to that. Welcome to Train Sim World 2. The usual the person doing the introduction. Featuring authentic routes and trains from good, the it? world. Hello, Tana. E to continue. You've just been awarded some action points. Lovely. These are displayed in the top right. We'll do uh, the flirt introduction as well. I've got experience. no clue how you drive it. Good to Miss Adams. It is necessary to be fully observant uh, of the surrounding world. And look there. Up, down, and look left, there. And, right. and there as well. We get four on this one. No. Besides Next. operating trains, there are lots of requirements. Guessing we're going to get a collectible. Try that I'm guessing. Now. It lag it's always a bit lag in the intro for me. Right, where are we going? That's that's gotta be a collectible, right? Broken bikes. Yeah, there you go, look at that, that's brilliant. I like that. Anyway, let's uh head over here. Hello gamer boy. <laughs> it's a good day, Miss Adams. It's always a good day when a new DLC comes out. That sounds like Andy Byford. I don't know who Andy Byford is. Oh, it's another collectible. Newspapers. It's like the Rivet this Times or something, yeah. Many interactives to there you be go. Discovered. But not all of them will be as easy. That's why that's the day West Cornwall Local come out, didn't it? The fourth of November. Yeah, there you can see it. West Cornwall Local, uh, Penzance to Saint Austell on there. Brilliant. Yeah, the Rivet Review. How modern is this train? Modern day. Yeah, modern day. I like the way the ticket machines as well. You know, have a map on it as well, which is quite nice because then you can sort of see the other routes, which you know could come in future. You can see that Cersei there to losing yeah, I like that the way they've added you know all the maps there the network maps whereabouts can we go out losing okay we can't go over there apparently that's the old station over there remember Jasper saying that I didn't watch all of the um, first look preview only sort of my usual you know 15 minutes oh, come on there we go this is really busy uh, no I don't know Andy Byford yeah, here it is. This is the Flirt 3. I think it's the Flirt 3, isn't it? The RABE 523. Very, very modern train. Well, modern-ish. I don't think it is as modern as it looks, but it is it is new-ish. The map as well. Let's get that. So all you got. you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 stops on here. I think it's about half an hour from one end to the other doing a slow service and about 20 minutes doing a fast one. And that is one of the reasons why the route price is slightly lower. A lot lower. of time will be spent operating trains. Right. So when ready, Let's get in. in so we're going through seat. here. Ooh. And this bit's cool because this is like the motors in the flirt. Um, so yeah, if we sort of have to go through this really tight corridor. Look at this. Well, not that tight, but, you know, still through there, which is pretty cool. Let's sit down. This is nice. You can pause the experience at any point. Doesn't say where. Review previous um, objectives. Might be on the Rivet Games site, maybe. Um, Rivet Games forum. Rivet Games forum. There you go. This is the speed display. 
This sort of just tells you how to play the game. That's quite a lot of people. Uh, quite a lot of people might just get the game for this route, so that's why there's an introduction at the beginning of every route that comes out. Because yeah, someone might just get the game for that route uh, and just play that route. So this is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward. Hello, Ilum. How are you? If it's cheaper directions. because it's short, dovetail should be given away at the Isle of Wight. Uh, that's that's another river games route, and that is cheaper this as is well. The power display. A number will indicate what I think West Somerset is slightly lower as well. In. I think West Somerset's at 22. Blow the horn. We'll do in a second. These are brake indicators. It's actually a really nice they horn. The state of the various brakes really system, nice horn. Allowing independent management of them. Okay. Continue. In the top right are the signal so, and yeah, they're up here. Displays. So you can see green and eighty. Do we look at the route map? And the countdown distance to when so this is Lurzen. And we sort of come out of here. So you've got a big yard here. Come out of here. This bit I believe isn't included. That's just well map scenery. Because um, so I thought that was included originally. I was like, oh, blimey, you can go all the way up there. But no, that's just scenery. Cut up here, you've got a little yard up here. <clears throat> Quite wiggly, isn't it? It goes up and then all the way up to Cersei, which is all the way up here. So, yeah, we'll be doing a couple of runs. Well, probably more than this a couple of runs. Ready to go. Push the indicated handle forward. Let's go. Bit of horn. I like the horn. It actually sounds good. It's a good this sounding horn. Oh. Central Schweiz, Luzern zur See, runs for roughly 25 kilometers. Oh, much is. 25 kilometers. Between Luzern and zur See. So that's about this 20 miles. The SBB RABE 523 electric multiple unit. Yeah, similar. Hopefully it looks all good and sounds all good. Yeah, we are playing on the PC. Hopefully later on we'll be on the console. That's so alright, still take a look at what else there is to enjoy. There we go. Welcome to S oh. Central Schweiz, Luzern to Sursee. Take control of oh, SBB's oh, yeah. RABE 523 EMU in central Switzerland and learn ETCS level 0 yeah, and level 1 on this that. standard well, gate Well, I think it's fairly easy, ETCS. Take passengers along the shores of beautiful Lake Zempach. Past the imposing Chateau Gouch Ooh, and Hoistop Bridge. Was that a, uh, and park up for the night oh, at Luzern Depot. No, I can't the, the name way, for it. The railways have got the really steep hills. Refill newspaper stands. Of them. Repair broken bikes. And put up posters. Brilliant. This is S-Bahn Central Schweiz. Well, looking forward to it. Let's, um, there's the uh, tutorial there. Uh, let's do the RABE 523 introduction. As yet, no clue how you drive it. And it's a Swiss train as well, so it's not like the German trains, but they're all fairly similar to set up. So yeah, we, we need to do the tutorial. They might even come up with the ETCS as well, then we can learn that. Good to hear you, Court. Long time, yeah, welcome back. Hopefully you're all well. Now here we go, the Rabi 523 introduction. Welcome to this introduction for the SBB RABE 523. Start stopping, and coupling, loading and SBB unloading. Nice. So we're in the depot, look at this. And you actually go in the depot as well. A bit like um, Ride St. John's, you can go in the depot there. It's good. Coupling, loading, and unloading. Does this have a new skybox? It should do, yeah. Yeah, it has got the new skybox. Uh, right, let's uh, let's get on the train. Don't want to fall in. Let's uh, let's get in. There we go. Oh, look, hang on a sec. Does that come out when you... Hang on. Does that go in when, once the doors are shut? Oh, look at that. That's a bit like the um, Talent 2. I think the Talent 2's got something similar. Well, when you open the doors, the sort of little you know, platform thing comes out. Nice. Had a cup of tea, yeah. Hello, Pig, how are you? Let's get the doors seat. shut. Right, so I'm guessing we're going to be taking this into the station. There is PIS inside the train as well. Uh, I love how they've actually got the little, you know, a proper clock. Whereas, you know, most things nowadays, it will just sort of be digital. But yeah, they've got a little, little clock there. So I'm guessing, yeah, this would come up with... Obviously, this is a tutorial, so I guess it would say Lurs and Cersei and have the stations in the middle. There we go. Cool. Right, let's get to the front. You've got all of the usual sort of ads on here. Lemor Burgers. I don't know if that's a, a real burger place. It, it could be. Uh, you've got Rivet Games on there. Any other ads on here? Rivet usually has some quite cool ads. Got the Arosa line there. We've got Ideal, some sort of stall. Um, nice. Right, let's uh, let's head to the front. 
Brilliant. Let's uh, sit down. Switch the master key to unlock. key to, to unlock. Okay, that was that one. That's that one there. The main headlights will automatically be turned on when the master key is set to. Let's see if to unlock. Oh yeah, we just did that. The throttle lever is split into two zones. So one's braking, one's throttle. And fahren. Okay, because I think on this one it's like the three six three, and like the um six one two as well, where you have to sort of hold the throttle to then get a bit of power. And it sort of goes back to the centre. So you sort of keep that power there. I think that is... No, maybe not. Or does it? Not sure. We're not going yet. Oh, yeah. Minus 20. Wait, yeah. Set the train brake to release. Uh, that would be that way. It's a nice train, though, the isn't it? RABE 523 is fitted with automatic couplers. Oh, into the 523 behind oh we're going behind, are we? Let's have a look. So set the reverse to reverse. This is going to go terribly wrong. We're going to crash into the other train. Set that to reverse. Bit the horn as well. Oh yeah. Controls the multiple units dynamic brake. Yeah. The fahren zone controls the power supplied to the traction motors. Sounds good. What's that button on top? Well, that's probably to move it, isn't it? You sort of click it down to yeah. Right. Set the throttle to ten percent. And this is where we start crashing into the other train. Right. 10% power. Oh, that is quite quick. Right, pull that to zero. And it wants us to go quick. Oh, God. Uh, not that. Um, there we go. Right, let, let's give that another go. Right. Get up to three miles an hour. We can do that. Any Swiss drivers in chat can find bike repairs part of the daily route duties asking for a friend. I'm sure they do it all the time. Well, that's five kilometers an hour. Sounds really good. As well. I don't know how these sound in real life, but sounds good to me. Right, so we're going to be catching up to here. That's good. Look, proper. I haven't seen these type of couplers before. And forward. And the train has multiplied. Oh, wow. Hello. It proper does go boom down, doesn't it? There we go, right, set the throttle lever to 20. Minus 20, I've just done that, haven't I? Drive the train into Luzern Station using Luzern the Station. throttle lever. Cool. So I set that now to forward. So where's the EC European train control system? That'll be around here somewhere. I can't actually get going. We've got a red point. It's got to be that. That's gone green now. Uh, like it, no, hang on. That says it's red. That's probably behind us, isn't it? Right, let's get going. So is this some sort of AFB? Yeah, so this is like the AFB here. Oh, this is the... No, this is the thing which is a bit like... Um, the 363 and the 61. So it's not the throttle, it's the AFB. Not the VSOL. So you sort of have to hold that to bring it down or take it up. Alright. So where's that safety system then? Dimmer buttons. You've got the... Radio over here. Can we contact the signaler? Yeah, you can contact the signaler. Um, numpad clear. You can use this as well. I think this is to do with the PIS somewhere over here. So you could sort of change it. Um, using those. Probably because of the tutorial it's locked. Oh no, you can see it there. Changing the place. So yeah, you can change that on there, which is quite cool. Anyway, coming into Luzon. Hello, Neil. You have to press the very right bottom button on the right screen. Got you, now. Hello, Fern. Has an automatic station brake that deploys whenever your speed is low enough. Not bad. Right screen, right, Mikey. Uh, right screen. Oh, yeah. Do we just turn it on and see what happens? That's probably because we're going, isn't it? Right, well, yeah, we're... Yeah, it's really the tutorial. It might be locked, and also because we're moving already. We'll have that on when we do the go along. There's the cab light. To stop the train. Okay, bit of horn action. Horn is really nice. I really like it. It's good. It's a good sounding horn. I approve it. Oh, let's get that off. We don't want them on. Um, oh, we can't at the moment. We'll get the stop marker off. <clears throat> there you go. Hopefully it's running nicely, though. So yeah, we are on the PC. Hello, Toby is on the right screen zero button for level one. <clears throat> there is STM for level zero. 
So how exactly does the European train control system work? I haven't really seen much on it. I've heard it's fairly simple, so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, hello, we're going a bit quick. Passenger lights, green light uh, to right of the right screen. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there we go. Cool, we learn as we go along. What a lovely station, though. Really nice. Anyone been here in real life? Ah, oh, see, so yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it now? We've got 41 people in, so thanks all for coming in. Big thanks to Dovetail for giving us an opportunity to show this off. Uh, train, stop. There you go. We're all good. Press the door release button for the appropriate platform. Yes, yeah, so you got right, close, and left. Well, that looks cool. Look at that. That is really cool, you can see it flashing all the little bits on there, that's it very good. But yeah, this is Rivet Games' third route in the game. Uh, they first did the Erosa, which was about a year ago. Um, then West Cornwall Local, no, hang on, no, not the third route, this is the fourth route. They did Isle of Wight, um, which was over a year ago, then the Erosa line, uh, then West Cornwall Local, and yeah, and now this one. Very simple to use, it basically just tells you what speed to drive and how far you have to the new speed limit. Well, that's not too bad then. It doesn't get angry at you, does it? Uh, it should be out, Alexander, unless it's 10 a.m. local time. This I should better download it. Is equipped Morning, Amanda, how are you? Systems. Oh, here we go. ETCS level one and oh, next tutorial, okay. More information well, we'll do that then. These can be found in the next tutorial. Set them to full service. Full service. But yeah, put a couple, couple of really good releases in the last uh, week or so. So we've had Harlem Line, which is probably the best American passenger route there is in the game. And now this, which is great, another Swiss route, flirt train as well. Also be obtained that Very good uh, functionality and features couple of weeks. This multiple unit. Cool. Oh, we've got, we got a trophy as well. Is that a chocolate bar? <laughs> it's like a chocolate bar, doesn't it? As smooth as... I click on that. Oh, no, I don't know. Can I? How do you look at the trophies? There's Neil. Um, is, is that a chocolate bar? A smoother Swiss. Oh, it is. Yeah, a smoother Swiss chocolate. I like that. I like that trophy. Right. Uh, let's do. It said there was another tutorial. I guess that'll be a safety system one. This route is amazing. Awesome. Hello, Jake. How are you? Let's have a look. Yeah, there is another one. Yeah, let's do this because I don't know the safety system. So. Looks like we're pretty much going on a full run as well, look. And all the way down. Alright, let's do it. Uh, cool RCC is this line has PTC. No, that's that's American stuff. Says there's something wrong. Oh, it's not doing that again, is it? Um I did that with uh, Dresden to Chemnitz. To it might be doing that possibly. Is it when you try and RABA download it it says something's gone wrong? Unit. Ah. Yes, that might be what happened with Dresden's Chemnitz. Haven't got it on the PS5 yet. Um, so I can't check for myself. But yeah, it might, it might be doing what it did for Dresden's Chemnitz. There was a few issues on the PlayStation. Well, that was sorted quite quickly. If you are overspeeding. Alright. So as long as I don't overspeed, which is quite difficult for me, <laughs> we'll be alright. I always find it to be laggy in the, tu the tutorials. Let's find in service. Weird. Anyway, let's uh just that's on every route for my um PC. Don't know why. Anyway, let's uh let's head up. Uh there we go. We're running on I believe high slash ultra. The train no. Departure. Medium slash high. Which looks similar to sort of last gen. Uh master key to unlocked. On my screen when I try to download it. Hmm. Uh, good to see Amanda, I'm all good. Sw best Swiss route in train sim world. That's just out of a rose line in this, isn't it? Uh, let's set to forward. That sounded nice when that happened. Right, set that to minus 20. <clears throat> or do we have to set it to exactly minus 20? Oh, no, there. Set the train brake to release. Get that off, release. Uh, and set that to 100 kilometers an hour. See, so you have to hold it to go up. So that hold it, you'll then see it go in up. So 
100 kilometers an hour. You can start to see it going out. Let's get in there. There. Um, Press the ETCS and get this on. toggle button to initialize the I'd probably wait until later, Alexander. Yeah. Make sure your game's also on the latest version. Get that on. Level STM covers any onboard safety systems cool. other than ETCS on the so train. So we're going on this one. The Integra Signum safety system is also oh, red signal. That's train. where we're going. Have a train. About how this works can be found in the manual. Nice. Very modern, though, isn't it? It's lovely. ETCS Hello, Gregory. Level zero. At ETCS level zero, the yeah. driver has oh. to rely on the external signals. External signals. Turn on so I guess in level one, level you don't one. get that. You don't have to rely on the external signals. Acknowledge that ETCS oh. level one has been acknowledged. The system initializes in staff, staff responsible mode. Maybe in responsible on air. Oh God. Release, it will change to full supervision. Just a full supervision. When passing okay. a signal that is one so it likes being nosy. restriction is coming up. The onboard system will start calculating a brake curve. The driver That's all right then. So it is helpful as well. It will tell us when to start slowing down. Can't wait until I get this, this through. Thank you. No worries, uh, Bacon. Well, hopefully it, it looks and runs all good. Because yeah, we are on the PC version, um, which, well, for me, um, my PC doesn't run it as well as on console. But hopefully it still looks good. And you know, let's set that to. Oh, we're going up to 100 kilometers an hour. Right, let's get that up. Let's go full whack. See how fast it goes. Okay, that's quick. Cool. So it's 100 miles an hour along this line, like 160 kilometers an hour. Awesome, uh, Alexander. In real life, you actually pre select two different speeds. One can be selected, and you can pre select the other one. Oh, the other one. Okay, I think we're all good. So that made a similar noise to TVM then. Okay, that's coming down. Was that coming down for the... Yeah, it's coming to 100. Alright. Oh, you got 100 on there as well. I don't think... Do you need to acknowledge it? I think it'll be similar to PZB. Yeah, I think you do at ETCS acknowledge. Let's get that up. So, yeah, we're coming out of Circe. So, this is the northern uh, northern end of the line. It's lovely. Look at this. Proper nice scenery. If you get a gaming PC, we, we do have a gaming PC. If the braking curve oh, is we're going this way. Closely enough, then the well, no, I think in on this route, you actually are on the left-hand side. I was sort of, well, I sort of saw it, and I was like, hang on a second, why are we on the left-hand side? But no, apparently, Swiss trains do run on the left. Which has, you know, ETCS level one, being from the, the UK, nice. <laughs> it's on the left-hand side. And with the use of it's, lo it's lovely, isn't it? Data is sent to the train to prevent exceeding the permitted speed. The data transmission only happens at the points of balances. Okay. Like it. So I guess then we can get that up to 160 now. And we do have a yellow coming up, which I'm guessing it will start bringing us down then. So I guess we should start seeing that needle coming down soon because there is going to be a red in three and a half kilometres. I'm guessing that's how it works as well. That's lovely. What are we running at? Yeah, 43 FPS. That's not too bad. I mean, it's a fairly quiet route, so should uh, should run all right. Which one should I buy? You want for your DJ? Uh, gaming PCs. It's up to you. Tons of gaming PCs uh, you can choose from. Lovely. That's good. Get the window open as well, which pulls out. <laughs> there you go. You could literally just go out the window if you want to. It's almost like a door, isn't it? Look how big the window is. There you go. Let's get that shut. Let's not have any incidents. You've got the mirrors as well. Well, they look like mirrors. Is there a button to get them out? A bit like on the Erosa. Uh, not too sure. Marker lights, headlights, passenger lights. Okay, right. That's done something. But it did something. It beeps. It almost sounded like TVM beeping. Found the first bug. Arrived at the first session. All controls are frozen with sliders. Um, try standing up, Ron, and sta and got sitting back down. Uh, that something happens sometimes happen on PlayStation. I think where like you it sort of freezes and you can't look around. So really like on this route. Me too. Look at the lake there as well. Wow. Yeah, you can you can see that coming down now. The needle. Well, no, on, where is it coming? Yeah, there. 
yeah, you can see it coming down. So as long as we're below that, the train will be happy. Let's set that to zero. As we come up to the red. Yeah, that's still coming down. So we have to follow that as it comes down. A foot pedal for the mirrors, Matt. A foot pedal for the mirrors. Oh, yeah. That is uh, cool. We've got a second man seat there, which almost looks like one of those seats you just pitch up, you know, when you're camping or at the beach. There's a second man seat. Can you drive my scenario, please, on the Creative Club? It's called East Coast Mainline Closure. Uh, maybe at some point, Jaden. But for today, we'll be playing this. And maybe Harlem as well, but probably this. Put the blind as well, so if you don't want anyone being nosy or you just don't want to see anything, put the blinds down. So it seems to be, yeah, <laughs> every side. I like it though. <clears throat> There's any fuse cabinet as well? You usually sort of get a fuse cabinet, don't you? Maybe everything is just available in the cab. Oh, yeah, hello. Oh, God, that's... Okay, That it, it, it screams at you. Let's try not to get a spad on the tutorial. That would not be good. No, no, a little bit more forward. Come on, train. Actually, it merges the exits as well. They've got two functions. No. Oh, wait, train. Just go a little bit forward. Yeah, you could probably easily get... Well, not easily, but you'd be able to get out the window. So how easy are Swiss signals then? Are they similar to German signals? Because they look completely different. I suppose you've got the uh, safe system, haven't you? Which tells you sort of when you're coming up to a, a red. We have to be right on the marker here. This is dangerous. Brakes. There we go, Good we did work. it. That is the basic this is a uh, Siemens More train. Is it? On the safety systems used in the RABE oh, so the safety system fairly easy. Right, there we go. Right, let's go to the main menu and let's see what you actually get with the route. So yeah, 25 kilometers from losing to Cersei. Um, <clears throat> journey mode, you get... Wow, that's quite a bit you get on there. Uh, six chapters. Introduction and experience, commuting around, which seem to have quite a lot on them, all in a day's work, burning the midnight oil, rushing around, and flirting up and down. Um, for scenarios, you get five scenarios, there and back again, the shower express, slippery season, midnight rush, and shedding the weight. Um, so if you like your scenarios, you get five. Uh, timetable, 112 services, so for a line like this, Perfectly fine. Probably set on a realistic timetable as well. Um, so yeah, you can see the first one's at 5.05 in the morning. Um, and was it every sort of 15 minutes by the looks of things? Yeah. Well, a bit more than that actually. So yeah, quite a few services you get on there. And um, just do 112 divided by 24. And that's how much you get in an hour. But yeah, fairly... For a minute, every sort of four minutes, and well, yeah, it's pretty frequent. The last service is the twenty-three thirty-two. Right, let's do a let's do an express service first, just so we can see the whole route, <coughs> and then we'll do a S-Bahn service after that. Shall we start the depot? Then go. Um, yeah, we could start at the depot, and then sort of. Uh, no, well, no, we'll start we'll do this one. So what's this? Uh, that's an S-Bahn service. Where's the express one? <coughs> Regio Express. Losing to Cersei. Let's do that. 6.05 in the morning. In summer. It's going to be nice. Let's do it. Use the four-digit code on the timetable to set it up. Will do, Mikey. <coughs> in we go. Right, operate this Regio Express service from Losing to Cersei. <coughs> Alright, let's get the doors, well master key first, so master key on, set that to forward, unlock the doors, that would be the right hand side, doors open right, passenger lights as well, uh, let's get them on, uh, let's see, so the headlights come on automatically, so we don't need to worry about that, <coughs> let's see, handbrake, cab lights, um, let's get the this on then, There, so that's now on. Need to acknowledge that the ETCS is on, so ETCS acknowledge. 
that's now on. Well, that was quick. We're already off to. We're already ready to go. Uh, hold on a sec. Where's this one going? To Cersei. So four seven o oh, eight. Is it four seven o oh, eight? Is there an enter? Oh, no, that's four four seven. I quite like this. O oh, eight. Okay, you know, I don't know. Um. Use the four digit code on the timetable. Unless it's a seven o eight, maybe. Or is that the wrong one I'm I'm doing? Probably the wrong one. Um let's do that. I think that should come up. So we're going to do, we're not an S bar on service. Uh so I guess it would be I don't know what it would be. Uh is there an S one to Cersei? There's quite a few on here. I don't know what one it would be. Um, well, we're at Regional Express, aren't we? So I'm guessing it'll be one of those. Basil, maybe? That one? I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know where this would be going, realistically. Let's get the doors shut. I did. Uh, it looks really, really good, doesn't it? Um, holy trucker. I just brought Lurzen on PS5. I've got an Erico when I try to download it. Yes. It seems to be there is the issue which happened with Dresden to Chemnitz, where the PS5 download it just doesn't want to do it so there's not really a lot which can be done at the moment i guess until there is a fix for it uh, what i did last time was i played on the ps4 version uh, of dresden to chemnitz but yeah I, there's not really a lot which can be done just keep trying it every, every sort of 15 minutes but yeah um hopefully dovetail will get that fairly sorted fairly swiftly they did last time i think by about 1 p.m last time it was sorted. Hello, Avnish. Oh, check PIs at the station for the route number. Okay. Hopefully we haven't missed it. No, has it just changed? Go back, go back, go back. Quick, before the train leaves the platform. Come on, change. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't say on there. Unless that was the other one. Right, let's get uh, that off. And that'll be control 4. So we'll keep the speed on. There we go. Uh, and I also want to... No, not that. Put that back on. Uh, the stop marker. Uh, stop marker on this one and that one. Don't like them. There we go. Hello, Daniel's Trains. How are you? Welcome in. But yeah, this is a losing sa a losing station. Look at this. This is great. I think there was also some narrow gauge tracks somewhere as well around here. There you go. Out we go. Love the horn on it. It's brilliant. Off we go. So we got the ETCS on the European Train Control System. Uh, and if it was a Regional Express. What do we do in S bahn Emmenbrook, or maybe it is a regional express, but we get a stop on it. Well, it looks like a slow service to me. Or maybe it's a slightly quicker. Anyway. We move. Ah, that's all good, Mikey. Well, I've got it set to Basel, I'm <laughs> safe. <laughs> Although, I might change it, because it doesn't seem like we are a regional express. I'll set it to... May as well set it to Cersei. I just, I just lost. Where's Cersei? Yeah, we'll set it as that. Pretty cool coming out of here. Right, we can get the vessel up now to 80. Let's get that up. So I believe we've got the safety systems on. It's quite cool coming out of here, and it's sort of going through the tunnels. Funicular railway, that's the word for it. I was still thinking that railway thing on the side of the hill. I think there, I think that was a funicular railway. Well, by the looks of it, it looked like one. It might not be there. Right, I've got an 85 coming up. How do we know it's going to be 85? Is there a speedboard or is it in the train? We'll see it. Does that stop there? That's where we're waiting to go in, isn't it? This is lovely coming out of losing. Some proper good. Um, I oh, know it's not, it's not very scenic at the moment, but it's nice coming out of there. There's the other flirt there. 
So how do we know when it's 85? Is there going to be some sort of change to it? Is there speedboard? Yeah, there you go. So 75, well it's already 85, that's 80 here. So can we see that on there? Yeah, you can see that's gone up now, that little grey line there. So I mean, you can probably do this fairly easy, Hudless, to be honest. It tells you the speed limit, so all you need to know is the station locations. So that'll be good. At some point you'll see us doing it, Hudless. Let's wipe that down. This is lovely coming out of it. Look at this. Got the river down there. So this is losing. Very nice. Oh, we're going over there. Cool. 1.7 kilometres. Where's that go? That goes off in there. Well, I'm liking it. So yeah, coming out of losing. You've got bridges going all over the place. What a lovely place. <laughs> There's a clown horn. Right, um, that's on zero. Get ready to come into M and Brooker. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this whizzing along the river. River added speedboards, but none in real life. Drivers get told via ETCS. All right. Let's pop that down. So we've got a what a single yellow there. What does that mean? Right, I can hear. Okay, yeah, it's coming down. So I'm guessing you get reds at each station. Yeah, you can see that line coming down now. So we need to follow that. Which at the moment we're coming down really quick. I guess we acknowledge it as well. Would you acknowledge it? Yeah, we've come down a little bit quick there. Come on, train. A little bit further. Yeah, you can see that little needle now starting to come down. The blue, that's coming down quite quickly now. So I'm guessing you get a red at the end of each platform. So it sort of is objective based. It's like a duck sound. So that should bring us to a fairly nice stop. Should I be using that brake or... Oh, they're both pretty decent. That doesn't really matter then which one you use. Well, this is nice. Bit of a grade coming up. Liking it. And there's PIS as well. Which is good because um, the previous rivet releases haven't had PIS. Obviously US Corn were local, fair enough. Um, as it's like a 90s route. So PIS would be different, but it's nice to see PIS on here. Here we are, right, let's open the doors. So we come down to here, and doors open left. The QC is loose. Just check Rivet's video to confirm the four digit train code, you push the E button. Uh, to confirm it, well, it's 4708 or E button, E button. Four seven zero eight. What can I do that? Dunno. And it doesn't seem to let me pop in four. That was very quick, we're off again already. Push the E button. Dunno, it just seems to come up. Anything on here which would say what train number we are? No, yeah, not too sure. Right, it's Rovenberg next. That's similar to the um, place from Hamburg, Lübeck, Rovenberg. Uh, let's pop that down. No, not that. Oh, don't stand up. Right, what have I just done? Have I put the brake on? No, not the, not the brake. Right. The AFB thingy. There we go, pop that down. Right, and off we go. So that is green now. So I guess that should then ping right back up. It's so quiet you can't hear the brakes. Ah. Well, it's 4708, isn't it? 47. Is it 47? Yeah, 47. 4708. And it goes off. That's gone back up now, so let's whack that up to, what was it, uh, 85, wasn't it? 85. Three kilometres to Rovenberg. Loving the horn on 
this one. And off we go. Yeah, if you want the mirrors out, you know, there we go, there's the mirrors. So there's not many sort of, it's fairly easy the safety system. Just follow what it does and you'll be alright. Possibly now, yeah. Unless it was just 470. Maybe it's the first three digits. Okay, we're missing out on this stop. It's going to take me slightly longer to learn this line. I was on the Highland line, I learned it in like the first first day or so, but it's probably going to take me a bit longer on this one. Especially the place names are Swiss, so it'll be slightly harder to learn. Let's get that up. Although, if you do get a red light at each station, then, well, that should be fairly straightforward as I just know when we're approaching the station as it will start bringing us down. Uh, the brakes are quite quiet, you can't hear it. Alright. Let's keep going. Well thanks all for coming in. We'll be going for a little bit longer. I'll be until about quarter past one ish. So a couple of hours and then we're back on here tonight as well. Liking it so far. There's the mountains over there. Nice scenery. Who's already got this? 470 didn't work, that's true. 478 maybe, maybe skip out the zero. We'll look at the PIS at the next station and see what that says. Now we go up to 110 and it said, enter the destination code, oh it's, t oh okay, destination code is 202. Oh there you go, Cersei, cool. So was it 200, 201, 202 for Cersei? Cool. She is um, in free. At what time tonight? Uh, well, be about 6 p.m. GMT. Well, probably before that now, probably 4 or 5. Horn's great though. Lovely. Right, 1.5 kilometres to Rovenberg. Can you do a flyby view? We sure can. Well, first, in fact, let's get to the station first, then we'll do it. Because we're only a kilometre out, so. Then we'll uh, get a flyby shot. Let's get that up. So it should bring us down then for the station, I'm guessing, hopefully. If we coast that. Yeah, the last station, we seem to have a red at the end. So is it going to do the same? No, so I'm guessing for this one we do need to know where it is. Coming up to Rovenberg. Oh no, no, you do get a single yellow there, so it does. So now you should start seeing that needle starting to come down. Yeah, it's 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 beeping, so it's gonna start coming down. Well the station's here, so maybe not. Well at least you sort of know when it beeps there's a station coming. So that's good. Hello, Ella, I'm all good, how are you? Uh, what line are you doing to well, this line? They're coming in, so let's get an, an outside stopping shot. See what it sounds like. There's the horn, the horn's really good. I like it. Right to the end of the platform. All the details on the roof as well. It's been really well done. Look at the little bits on the roof. And here we are, this is Rovenberg. Well what is that? It's like a big ugly tower behind it. What's this all about? <laughs> Interest Future Horse, what does that mean? Some sort of industry. Yeah. Uh, is the P yeah, PIS is working, which is uh, I very much like to see. There we go. Which there yeah, was lacking from the other three rivet routes. It's good to see the PIS in now. Let's get the door shut. Uh, buying this camera with Steam, how do you like it? It's great. Uh, I mean, it's only, what, three quid at the moment? TSW2 on Steam? Something crazy like that. So, yeah, pick it up if you can. 
Right. Let's uh, whack that down quick. Also, PIS on the inside, we'll check that at the next station, which is Simpac. Hello Werewolf, how are you? Welcome in. Hello Good Duke from Harrow, how are you as well? There we go. It's great, right, let's get him. Oh, and we'll get the flyby shot as well. That should now go up. Let's whack that up. How much does it cost? This is £19.99, I believe. So, in Euros, I think that'll be £24.99. So, it's slightly cheaper. Let's go ahead. Let's get that flyby shot. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's great. Fair enough, Arrow. Fair enough, Crystal. Get back in. Yeah, 43 FPS. I think I've got locked to that. Uh, let's get that on. So, yeah, running very smoothly. Which I'll sort of expect from this. It says Ideal. Is that supposed to be some sort of IKEA? I don't know. Ideal. Oh, no, Ideal was an add on here, wasn't it? It was like for a stool. Maybe it's, it's probably supposed to be IKEA, isn't it? Ideal. So what stops have we got? We got Sempac and then Cersei at 627, which we are running a little bit late. We have been mooching about. Some sort of warehouse under construction or some sort of scrapyard. Liking it. One new route would you uh, guess is next? Um, well, I reckon Spirit of Steam probably still is quite a way away, so maybe the Just Trains one might be next. We don't know what it is, um, but maybe that will be next after this. Oh no, hang on a Horseshoe Curve. That's the one. Horseshoe Curve. Yeah, probably Horseshoe Curve next. Then yeah, maybe the Just Trains one. Then maybe Spirit of Steam. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I, I would imagine Horseshoe Curve by Skyhook will be next. Mick, how you doing, mate? Uh, how was the new update? Going well. Going well. This is losing to Cersei, the second Swiss route in the game. Right, this must be Simpat coming up with some really big towers as well. You're like approaching a massive city. Cool. There's the window. If you want to jump out, then yeah, you can go out there. 1.6 kilometres. There's the yellow there. So it seems to be before each station, it you'll sort of get well after each station, you'll get a red. So you don't really need to know the station locations, as it will just bring you down anyway. So that's uh, that's decent. So I've heard the buzz, so I'm gonna start bringing that down. You can start to see the ETCS now coming down. But yeah, safety systems, quite a breeze on here. And I'll probably be able to learn this huddlers fairly quickly as well. Especially with that ETCS telling us pretty much where the station stops are and when to start coming down to stop. Hello Sam. Holy trucker. About the time I start working on a new entry, the French route, oh, another French route would be cool. And like a French metro route. I'm sure they've got some very good ideas lined up. Obviously, as we get more third party developers as well, it's just going to get better and better. Here we are, this is Sempak and Neurenkitch. Neurenkitch. Yeah, the ETCS pretty much tells you where to stop. So, uh, yeah, fairly simple. Sounds like the new Amtrak of Elia. To Pete Beat Boop. There you go, that's some horn. There's the Hulk marker. Don't worry, yeah, I'm coming to a stop. Don't play the little tune. This is setting pack. Let's get the doors open. Yeah, blimmin' enjoying this. Doors are open. This is setting pack. Yeah. So let's see, what is on the PIS? We'll look on the inside of the train as well. So how frequent is it? I guess it's every half an hour, because the other train was a little bit behind. Well, there's one at 28 and there's one at 42. So no, it's, well, fairly frequent along here. Signal is not usually red at the end of the platform. In that case, it doesn't say when to stop at the station. I suppose it will help us learn it. 
Yeah, losing to Cersei. So would this in-between have the station stops? But sort of show you sort of en route whereabouts you are. Then it will say, yep, yeah, you're now there. And you're now there. But yeah, we're going to Cersei. The interior is... Oh, hello. You've even got a little uh, thing here as well. I've seen this one. Welcome in West Cornwall. Welcome in. I don't know what that says. But yeah, there's West Cornwall. There will be a uh, poster. Lovely. Let's get the door shut. Let's get a sort of... Um, I'm going to get... Yeah, you're not getting on. That's what it sounds like from there. Get back to the front. Um, there's not really much point to change in that, is there? It's just going to go straight back up. Oh, hang on a sec. Um, what's going on here? Um... Is that going to go down? I don't know if there is work in level crossings on this one. Well, it almost looks like it's shut this level crossing, so maybe that's why it's not down. That you've got sort of the cones there. So it might actually just not be a. It might just be a closed level crossing. And it's great, Cole. Lovely, uh, aren't she's? It's Cersei next to nine kilometres. Let's go. Yeah, it's lovely. And then one, two, five. And up to 160 soon. So even higher speeds. One, two, five. So it's about 70 odd miles an hour. Nah, probably slightly less than that. Maybe 60. So it's fairly quick along here. Here indeed. And off we go. So I think we now go along the lake. Which looks very nice. Yeah, there's the lake down there. Which is good, there's another train. Cool. Long we go. Yeah, there's the lake there, so I think we now follow that all the way along to Cersei. Which is very nice. So it'd be very nice to sort of walk along the line, get a nice spot next to the lake, with the trains, that'd be great. And up to 160. So 100 miles an hour. Not bad at all. You should do Euro Tunnel on Trains and World 2. Maybe they'll do that in the future. Oh, this is great. Let's, uh, let's whiz ahead and get a fly by shot. Because we are going pretty quick. There's got to be another station along this stretch, hasn't there? Let's watch it as it whizzes through. Look at that. Wow. Scared. Very nice. So we're going about 100 miles an hour now as we whiz along the side of this lake. I know what the lake's called. I think it did mention in the tutorial. We're whizzing along the side of the lake. We've got another station coming up here. So we'll be going through that. I am. Page of Shouts great so far. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, we need to do some sort of train spotting at this station. You know, right next to the lake. That'd be great. Just sort of sit in there. You know, just watching trains pass through. You've got the lake to the left of you. That'd be great. Nice sort of summer's evening as well. Awesome. 4.2 kilometres to Cersei. It is quick, yes. So what's the top speed? Our top speed is 100 miles an hour in these, which they speed up really quick. I think Flirt is like fast, oh, it's like fast, like intercity regional train or something like that. <coughs> fast something, something like that. Fast, light, intercity regional train. I think that's what Flirt means. I could be wrong on that. Another station coming up, so we are skipping out a fair few. So we're not like the slow, slow service. I mean, this is still taking us a fair while to get from one end to the other. Well, not a fair while, but it's not that short. Oh, my God. Hello. Uh, that doesn't look good. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, that came down all of a sudden. That really did come down all of a sudden. I think I might have missed a signal there. Well, oh, no, it's gone back up now. I'm not too sure. 
I think we missed something. I didn't like it. We'll come into a stop. <laughs> uh, looking good. Uh, some small issues I have on another's first look. Uh, well, we seem to have upset the ETCS somehow. <coughs> go fishing on the lake. It's all good, train. Don't be angry at us. Right, let's go. Yeah, we might have missed the signal, maybe over 60 on it. Maybe we just need to slow down a bit, because we were going about 160. Only with just over a kilometre to go. There's Cersei. <coughs> so 60, wasn't it? Yeah, the ETCS got angry at us. So all right, happens to, happens to all of us. Right, let's uh, pop that down. 260. Yeah, not more than 60. There we go. And bring that down a bit more. 60, 60, 60. There's 60. And we're coming into Cersei. I think the train likes us again now. Hello, Magnum. How are you? you got like another little platform there. Is that some sort of... No, that's not a platform, is it? Or is it? Some little freight loading bit. No. <coughs> you have the truck because I live in uh, Lucerne. Oh, brilliant, Sim. Is that, I guess that's close by then. How does it compare to real life? I guess you must have been on it in real life. But I acknowledge that. <laughs> Let's go, speed challenge. It would be a fairly good route for a speed run. I mean, I suppose it is fairly windy, but in some places you get a proper speed on you. Alright, good, good. So that thing should buzz in a second to start slowing down. But that was one end of the route to the other. Enjoyed that. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know. I, I think so, yeah. No, I think so, Mick. Well, that's just four on there. Does that mean, is that for a four coach train? Maybe that's for one unit you'd stop there. So I'm guessing it's to the end of the platform. So what we're doing now is we're going to then go back to Lurzen. So it's about half an hour from one end to the other. Fast service. 20 minutes or so. And here we are. Let's get the doors open. So the doors. How are you getting on with TSW, Mick? How's your journey to Platinum going? Hello, Bruno. How are you? That was good, wasn't it? So this is uh, this is Cersei. And what we'll do, actually, is we'll have a little run around the station. Uh, just to see, you know, collectibles and see the PIS as well. So, yeah, we'll have a little run around the station before we go on to the next one. Even see if there's another service coming in soon and we can do that. Let's uh, jump out of here. 6.35, let's go back. Oh, well, let's just do this one then. Let's go back in this one. So let's get this shut down. Uh, we're probably going to be late for the next one. That's all good. Um, that goes to zero. Zero. Um, set that to locked. Probably want to pop that down, don't we? Awesome simp. There, right, that's down there. Now <laughs> you got this. Um, that's in. Would you have it in release? Probably full service, wouldn't you? Full service. Um, and yeah, I think that's all good. So we'll now switch ends and we'll go back to Luzon. Well, I think that's all sort of how it should be. Let's uh, let's run to the other side. Here's first class. Yeah, let's run to the other side. The train is lovely though. Look at this. That's a very good. We'll have a run around the station as well. Got the flowers growing in there. There's the ticket machine there. <coughs> Find some collectibles as well. Is there one in here? Yeah, there's a the rivet review in there. There we go. Let's get that. <laughs> that just sounds like one in the face. Right, uh, let's get him. Got 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, might as well keep that open. Let people get on. Here we go. Uh, I should now open all of them, I think. Yeah, they're now all open. Right, so what we do is we release that. Release. Oh, we need to turn off the ETCS on the other side. Uh, set that to... You don't get a lot of time, though, for setting up. Um, master key unlocked. So I would recommend spawning in beforehand. Set that to forward. 
That should now be all good. Uh, get that on. Uh, level 1. Acknowledge that we've turned it on. Passenger lights on. Um, I should really quickly change cabs. Let's quickly do that. Uh, can we not? Can you not in this one? Oh, wait, can I not switch cabs? Whoa, hello. I've, all of a sudden, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, let's quickly run to the end. Just trying to work out how to get the 10,000 miles out of the way. LGV, Emic. LGV Mediterranean. That's the best route for getting the 10,000 miles out of the way. Yeah, you want to play LGV, which is about 60 miles in 30 minutes. That's the easiest way to get that trophy. Oh, I think it's already off. We'll click it anyway. Right, back to the... Oh, it doesn't seem to let us go back to the cab. Okay, well, we're... Uh... We'll run back then. Well, that's different now. There's a good shot on there. We might run a little bit late, but yeah, have a little run around the station. This is this is Cersei. Which looks very nice. Oh, there's even a poster over there. In fact, yeah, let's be late. Let's just let's just enjoy, let's just have a run round. Let's uh let's see what we can find. Not in any rush, so you go right. Oh, wonderful! Oh, wonderful! If I've add, added one of those sort of uh, little secret areas you can go to uh, on this route, because like, on Erosa you could go around the whole lake. So I wonder if on this one there's something similar. Rivet usually do put those little ones on the Isle of Wight as well. You can go down to the lake. There's a map. Uh, poster as well. I'm guessing. Yeah, poster there. Welcome to Luzon. And there's I think there's another map down here as well. Plenty of maps. There. Oh, I see. Yeah, set to zero. All right. Let's quickly. Uh, let's run back. Let's let's not walk across the line. Let's go back. Uh, let's go down here. LGV Mediterranean. It's the French route. Yeah, LGV Mediterranean, pretty much. Right, back we go. So you want me to set the pantograph to zero at this end? Let's quickly do that. Back in we go. Um, Pantograph. Where was that on here? That was... That was here, wasn't it? Lower. So then we go the other end and put it up. Right, let's go. Yeah, for some reason I can't seem to teleport back into the cab. Sorry passengers, I am on my way. We are running a little bit late, but it's all good. We were having a run round the station. We're observing. Yeah, that's fairly easy to drive, Mr. Adams. I want to say it's a challenging train to drive. It's a nice chilled out train. Uh, right, let's... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Now close it. Let's get the doors locked. Oh, why is it put me... Hmm. Okay. Let's go back. That was weird. Back we go. Sit down. There we go. It seemed to spawn me the other side. Um, let's see. Um, so I want to set that to. So I guess it maybe we'll take. We'll try two o one. We'll try that. That no, Cersei. Two. No, not that. Um, Two zero zero. What's that going to give us? I don't know. Let's just get going quick. Um, brakes are off, so we should. Oh, hang on a sec. Um, yeah, I should be able to get going. Maybe not. Uh, what, have I, what have I done? I've done something. That's all good. Uh, that's all good. The brakes are still on somehow. The brakes are still on. But it's in the other end, isn't it? I think the brakes are still on the other end. Um, uh, that looks like the Long Island Railroad mine line. And that's weird. You can't seem to switch. Uh, oh, there we go. That's better. Let's go do it. Well, he went one. 
Let's um, let's be on time. Let's come out of here. And let's go back in. So we can be on time. We're around um, Cersei Station. Let's go in. Uh, we'll set it to uh, June time. Uh, and we want to do... What one was it? What one we were going to do? It was going to be... Uh, it was going to be... It was 48, wasn't it? 48? No, it was this one, I think. Let's do this one. Cersei to Lurzen. Uh Let's do it. Alright, here we go. So I'll provide regional express service from Cersei to Luzon. Let's go in and get it set up. Oh, well, we've got a trophy as well. 100, what's that? Getting 100 kilometres an hour? Oh, 100 kilometres already? Um, doors, get them open. So, uh, master key unlocked. Set that to forward. Get these off. So we'll keep them on a little bit for now. Um, passenger lights on. Bit of horn, because why not? Uh, safety system. I think that's now on. Acknowledge that the safety system is on. Yeah, it's on PlayStation. Yeah, it's on PlayStation now, foot goal. Um, that says we're going to Goosh. Which are our maps, isn't there, at the stations? Um, where's Goosh on here? Goosh. Gush is... Where's Gush on there? I guess that would be somewhere... Up there, maybe? Um, not too sure. Right, let's get the uh, doors shut. And the next station stop is Sandpak, wasn't it? Sandpak Nurenkirch. Let's get the brakes off. And let's go. Sounds good for the goal. And we're off. Loving it though. It's a very nice route. Um, right, let's have a look at this then. So we're probably going to go in an S1 or S1 to. And we're going to Lurzen. And if it says Lurzen on it. Unless maybe. Yeah, there you go. S1 Lurzen. We are stopping. So it like said a regional express, although we are stopping at a fair majority of the stations. Let's get that up now to 60. 9.3 kilometres. Yeah, it's nice page to start away, sort of. Well, you can see the others, other bits of the uh, network. Hundred on there. Looks really good as well. The numbers on the um, signals are really clear. Let's get that up to 100, 100 kilometres an hour. But yeah, very very good route. Um, well, we haven't really had any issues with it so far. Scenic. Um, a fairly good journey length as well. Uh, I did think it was going to be shorter, but no, the last one was about sort of half an hour. So yeah, it's about 30 minutes from one end to the other. Um, so yeah, not bad at all. And the train itself, lovely to drive. That's going up. And that should go up to 160. Let's get that up again. Up to 160. We've got a station coming up here. Let's get a flyby shot going for it. Let's whiz ahead quickly. And the yellow buses. Yeah, we do stream trains in one two every single day, so if you do want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It all does help out. Let's get that max. Whereas the safe system, safe system is here, Mr. Adams. ETCS level one. There's another train. Let's give it a bit of a buzz as we go through. Hello. There you go, there's our mate. Six and a half kilometres. It's pronounced losing. Hey, then, Jonathan. Losing. Oh my god, there's the lake again on our left. And oh, we've got another trophy. 
What's that one for? Uh, reach a speed of 100 kilometers an hour in the RAB 3E. Already done that, haven't we? So I wonder where that, um, that almost looked like a funicular railway. Where about we find that? Cool. Yeah, it's lovely going uh, going along the side of the lake here, liking that. So you're sort of following the lake, um, sort of half the journey, and the next half you'll then uh, sort of going winding your way through the city. It's quite nice. What's town? What is losing a city or a town? It's definitely not a village because it's quite big. Is it? Is it a city? Comes down to 125 soon. Got another station coming up, I think, around this corner. Cool. It's running really well as well. Which is, which is good. 2.6 kilometres. There's a one for all. Now it's done it again. Hmm. It doesn't seem to come down though, does it? I won't see it coming down. The train's got angry with us again, so just yeah, we're, we're coming to a stop quick. <laughs> we'll take a bit of time to get used to, I guess. Well, I thought the ETCS would tell us when to start slowing down. As we pops on, we'll quickly come to a stop quick. We'll let it bring us down. Right, that on. That, and then... That. And then acknowledge that. Right, off we go again. So now it's 40. Why is it coming down to 40? Is it supposed to come down to 40, all of a sudden? Hmm, don't know. Uh, let's put that down. I'm playing on a um, preview build still. Just to play the full release when I'd have to uh, install it. Well, not install it, but you have to, like, yeah, reinstall the thing, so. And that's a bug. Yeah, it's already been sorted. What's that underneath I keep following? What is that? Is it like a path? Oh, it's a pathway, it's a subway. Cool. 1.2 kilometers to Sempak. Yeah, it's still on the preview at the moment, so. I just wanted to get on it. <laughs> get on it. As soon as I got up, yeah, I'd have to re download the full version. I'll do that for later. Let's uh, get that up uh, to. Was it one? That's no, still 40 for us. That's as we're coming up to the station, so it doesn't matter too much. There's all the cows down there chilling out of them, all vibing. When you stop, you are capped to 40 until you pass the next sensor, a bit like PZB monitoring. Oh, I've got you. It's sort of like a magnet at the moment, stopping us. I uh, see petrol tower. It might be alright on the full, full version. So that should now go up now then. No, it's, no I suppose now as yeah, we are coming up to the red. So do you, do you need to acknowledge the ETCS? Is it, if you press Q, you can acknowledge it. But in what instance would you acknowledge it? And coming into Sempak Neurenkirch. Got 51 people in, so thanks all for coming in. For a bit of uh, losing to Cersei action. Uh, oh, you want to hear the track sounds when we come into Lurzen? Yeah, we can do that. Losing. Yeah, we can. Uh, we can do that. No, 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 train, 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 train. No, no, slow down. There, yeah, good. Here we are, Sempak Nurenkirch. So I think it'll be the same stations back into Lures and that's how it looks quite cool there, doesn't it? Some sort of industry tower, so it's a bit of an eyesore, but it looks quite cool. 
Let's get the doors open. Language isn't for the other safe system. That isn't ETCS. Oh, I got you. Here we are. So we're running a double again. You don't need to acknowledge anything. Ah. Well, do you drive them in real life, Fern, or is that on the game? Or just on train sim, maybe? Let's get the doors closed. And let's get going. It's up to <clears throat> 100 and... Is it 120? I think it's 120, isn't it? Maybe a bit more, actually. 100 and... No, 120. There you go. Let's go. It is Rovenberg next. Let's okay. go. Also, it is day one as well, so there will still be a few issues. But they'll be sorted. And we're off. So we're calling out Rovenberg, Emma Brooker, and then Lurzen at 6.50. Yeah, we'll, we probably will be late as usual. <laughs> Uh, so it'll probably be about 7 o'clock. It's a nice run though. You know, it's not too long, not too short. Uh, not too short. Half an hour or so. So that's, that's not bad. And I, there, there are slower services as well. So they will take a bit longer. Up we go. That's a 1 in 91 at the moment. You drive the Stadler Fert in real life, but it doesn't have the ETCS system. But we were trained on it in a simulator. Oh, brilliant, Fern. Awesome stuff. Well, how does this one compare, then? And up we go. Got your tractors in the field down there. But yeah, for later, or I'll get the other version installed. And then we might even be on the console as well. So, Although, if there is an issue on the PS5 version, then it might be on the PC again later. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to get on and show it off, as it says. It's been, it's been great. I'm thankful for coming in. So I think we sort of start heading away from the lake now. And sort of more into the... urban area. Or soonish. A little bit more countryside. Yeah, well, getting away from the lake. So yeah, what is it? It's... So far, we've stopped at Cersei, then it's Sempak. Sempak, Marion Kircher, Rovenberg, Emma Brooker, and then Lurzen. So that's a few stations there. Yeah, so I'll, I'll slowly learn it. Hello, Tizer, would you recommend this route for PlayStation 5? I sure would. Well, I mean, it's more down to personal opinion, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, so, yeah. Well, the sounds of the horn, everything else amazing. Because they've done an amazing job. They changed the tinted window. Uh, there are small differences with the panels and levers depending on the company and what they want to install, but it looks very similar in many ways. Brilliant. Right, we've got the yellow there, so I'm going to start coming down. That's just buzz something. So let's start slowing down. And we should start seeing that come down soon. Uh, the this line here, this yellow bar, we'll start seeing that come down soon. So we got to sort of follow that. So I suppose it's a bit like LZB on Munich to Augsburg, but you sort of have to follow the speed it wants you to go at, otherwise it gets angry. So I suppose similar to that. Don't worry, don't worry. It comes down fairly quick as well. As we come up to Rovenberg. Where is the station? Oh, is it staggered? Staggered platforms, eh? Yes, yeah, so as long as you follow that yellow line, you're all good. If not, it gets angry and all the alarms go off. And the quiet harm is actually very realistic, so it's a very quiet train to drive. Must be nice. Will do, Page Tail. Can you start on the outside? What? Well, go a bit of. Uh, oh, we're stopping here. Are we stopping before this light here? Be. It looks like it is coming to a stop, so I don't know if there is a red red here. Let's quickly check that. 
Well, that's gone back up. Okay. Uh, let's get that up then. This probably is all sorted in the final build. But I'll get that installed for later's stream. Here we are. This is Rovenberg. So it's yeah, a nice, uh, a nice journey. Lots of different scenery as well. So you start off in Cersei, come out of the town, you follow the lake along all the way to Sempak, Marion, um, Kirche. Then after that, you sort of start heading a bit more, a bit more inland. So it's a bit more sort of you know going through the fields, going through the forest. And then for this next bit here, you sort of then start heading into the uh, more built-up areas. So it's, yeah, it's nice. Let's um, get that open. Saying stop. Phew. So yeah, um, I'll do an outside view as we leave um, Patriotel. It was a bit dodgy there, so we had the ETCS doing its thing. But yeah, we'll get one as we leave. Oh, awesome, Merkel. Uh, Let's uh, set that. No, not that. Let's uh, set that down. No, not that. <laughs> How do I press these things? Not that. Oh, the train should be all angry. Accidentally... How do I do that? Accidentally popped it into emergency. I don't think I would do in it. Oh, it's not going to get going now. Uh, um, I'm just trying to find the right key to do the thing. Train, you can go now. It's all good. He doesn't like me anymore. He doesn't want to go. Hmm. It's, uh, yeah, I accidentally popped it into emergency. <laughs> we might have to go in and go back out quite possibly. Or is there like an easy button for it to reset? Maybe. Uh, let's put that down to... to there. See, I'm not, I don't really use the keyboard usually for the throttles. I've got the controller, so... Very easy to misclick things. And in this case, I have misclicked something. Um, let's see, there's the sanding button. Cool RCC. Doors are all shut, so that's all good. Uh, emergencies are still on, though. How would we get those emergencies off? Maybe put that to neutral. No, oh. No, that's not that. Hmm. How do you reset it from accidentally popping into emergency brakes at the station? Uh, they might let you have to wait a minute to reset you, yeah, maybe. Possibly. Well, that seems to have turned itself off again. Now you stay on. Well, yeah, we will get going. Don't worry, we will get going. Uh, Soonish. What about that? Enigma Sister Reset. Walker train. Shut down the cab. Alright, we'll do. Get that down to that. Set that to full service. The P mode and at P mode. Where would I find that for <laughs> the P mode on here? Is that one of these things on here? P mode. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Headlights emergency. Passenger. Oh, parking mode. Deactivate that. Handbrake on. Handbrake off. Um. Well, what I'll do then is I'll, I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. That always works. You. You go into zero. You go to neutral. And you go to off. So it should all sort of be reset. And then we'll do that again. Oh, that looks good. I mean, it, it's, it's gone white, the um, thing on there. No, brakes. Bloody go off. Uh, let's set that forward. Um, oh, no, no, I think it might have, Yeah, I think we've done it. We're all good. 
It's under control, under control. Full whack. Let's watch the train leave him. Cheers, Fern and Colt. And off we go. Let's just quickly get that up a little. This looks very good though. Yeah, the livery and just everything about it looks great. Right, let's uh, get that up to... That thing's turned off now. Yeah, I've just went to the next station to get that on. Uh, let's get that up. To, was it 110? I think that'll be 110. 110. I will try and learn the stations along here as quickly as I can. I know it's Lurzen, Emmenbrucker, Rovenberg. And it's like Sempak Maria Kirchner, but there's like those few stations we haven't stopped at yet. So we'll do another one after this, where it pays off. And we'll do an S-Bahn service, and we stop at all of the stations, just to try and learn it. So it would be like great to play like this at some point. Right, 90. Uh, let's start popping that down. I could actually just use the other brake, but you know, let's uh, pop that down. So we start coming into the city now, onto the more built up areas. There's another flirt. As we whiz through. I like this bit going through the sea. Don't hit the emergency brakes again. Hopefully now I'll, I'll be all good. Yeah, it does sound nice. Oh, hello. It's all right. Let's put that down. Good scenery, though. Very nice scenery. I mean, yeah, it's a fairly short route. Well, it's still 25 odd kilometres, so it's not short, short. But the scenery is very nice. Yeah, just a little bit cold. It's still good. <laughs> that down to 90 that'll then help us keep that and down to 80 in a second as well as we come up to Emmenbrucker yeah this is the second Swiss route in the game this one uh, the other one being the Arosa line which is a narrow gauge pretty much a mountain railway um, yeah that's the Arosa line which is now, now two, two Swiss ones in the game Another station here. The mountains rising above Luzon. It's quite a nice modern station, isn't it? The building over the top of it as well. Yeah, we're doing S Barn service after this and we can sort of learn these stations. I'm fairly quick at learning routes I'm really interested in, and this is one of those. So yeah, I do want to try and learn it. Hardless, and it's fairly straightforward as well, I guess. Um, as you get the ETCS telling you, well, not where the stations are, but in this game, yeah, but in real life, no. So, um, yeah, it's all right. It might take a bit longer than Harlem, as it's 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 Swiss names, but we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> Don't you dare speed. Is that another platform there? I thought it was an island platform, but no, it's not. Well, it is, but there's no other bit on that side. Right, here we are. Or can you get on from that side? No, I don't think you can. This is Emmenbrucker. So it seems to hold off for now. Fair enough, Patriot's out. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We're all good, we're all good. What are your thoughts of the new route? Uh, scenic, very good scenery, it's very nice. Uh, modern train, uh, let, me, let me try and think of how to round that up. Very scenic journey in a very nice modern train. There we go. Well, a nice short journey, nice short scenic journey, very scenic, uh, wait, I'm, I'm trying to reword it. A very nice scenic 
short journey in a very nice state of the art modern train. There we go. Oh, that just sat down nicely. Right, let's uh, let's get that back on quick. And I'll see a new train as well to TSW. We haven't had a flirt before. There you go. Awesome, Simon. You had to pre-order this one. I guess I'm crazy enough that I want to drive it virtually on my days off as well. Fair enough, Fern. That means you love trains. Fair enough. Let's uh, let's get that up. So yeah, this is where we start coming into it. It's losing next. We we'll sort of make our way through the city now, which is quite nice. I don't know what this is supposed to be up here. So it's sort of the overhead lines, I guess. Over the river. It's lovely, though. Look at this. Really nice. Afternoon Art Fall. Now we have the 523. I hope River give us the Gotten Barn route in the future. I've actually seen that route. I remember seeing... Um, Jasper playing it before on one of the Rivet game streams on some sort of video I saw Jasper playing it. Yeah, look, it's, it's nice. I think quite steep as well. I remember seeing that sort of the track sort of winding down the mountain, really steep, going through tons of tunnels. Look really cool. How you doing, Artful? Right, so got a 60 coming up. So is that going to start warning us that there's a 60 coming up? I'm waiting for sort of the buzz, saying beep, and then it will start coming down. Is that going to happen? So it's probably soonish. So it should beep for the braking curve. So yeah, similar ish to LZB, which you get on Munich to Augsburg if you're driving in the Munich section. It sort of tells you what speed to go at, when to start slowing down. Will do, yeah, for the um, track joint sounds. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to. So it's got angry again. I thought it might tell us when the braking curve is. Note to self, don't trust that as much as I should. Down we go. This is the fun of learning new trains and new systems. It will get angry at you. Uh, right, well, let's set that. Well, ETCS is still saying... 90 on there or so, isn't it? Let's get that down to 60 then. Unless it sort of deactivates when you come into the... No, I don't know. Well, it's gone back up now. It's all good. So, uh, steep and tunnelly, good thanks. Have been ill for a couple of days, but on the men now. Good to hear, Artful. Oh, well, uh, some points coming up here. I'll get it over there, Cole. Listen to the track joint sounds. You can hear it, it's just a bit quiet. Probably over the motor sounds. Now we come into Lurzen. Let's bring that down. No, I'm going to let the ET, will the ETCS start coming down. And I'll leave it for now. As we sort of curl around into the station. Is that going to beep and be like, oi, get the speed down. So that grey line there is the, it's the limit. Right, there you go, that's better. Now it's starting to come down. As we come up to the 40. There we go. That's all good, stand it there. There's another flirt coming out. Lovely. And this is losing we're coming into. At the many track, so there you go.
Yeah, you can hear it. It'll be quiet. Over the sound of the motors. And this is losing. So it's losing a big place. I mean, I'm guessing it's a fairly big place from sort of driving through it for the last few minutes. I guess it's like a fairly big place in uh, Switzerland. The station looks great, though. I guess there's some sort of modern extension this is, but this bit here, look at that. The old canopy. Yeah, that was good, that was. Enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, we'll go back to Cersei and we'll do it uh, doing an S-Bahn service. And then we'll be on here tonight. Maybe we'll then attempt it Hudless. Hello, Toby. No, I've got a few trains here. A couple, actually. I don't know what sort of other trains you'd get here in real life. This is uh, L Luzon Station. But I have no idea how it should sound. Yeah, let's get the doors open. <coughs> yeah, this is the narrow gauge stuff over here. And I did mention narrow gauge, but yeah, here's the narrow gauge tracks. I don't know where that would take you, but yeah, you've got the narrow gauge and then standard gauge here. Lovely station, though. I guess that's a shopping centre below. About 30 minutes ain't too bad. Right, let's go back to the main menu. Or should we... Let's have a look at the PIS. So, our one goes... Already? Blimey, minute, it's really... You don't get a lot of time to sit around and chill. Already going back. Um, yeah, let's have a little look then. So let's see what is. Wait for them all to change back to the other screen. You go on to bar at 721. That one terminates at 1642. That one's leaving at 716 to Langerfall. And that one came up as well. So you do get trains coming in from various other places. So it's not just your route where you'll see trains coming in from. Not the cases here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, up there. Right, let's do a um, an S barn service. We'll do June again, as this looks best in June. Uh, right, S barn. So I'm looking out for the longer ones. Operate this S barn service from Luzon. What's up, the longer one? 31 minutes. That's probably the one. Let's do let's do that. So I guess that will stop at most of the stops. Even the ones we didn't stop at last time. And we guess we'll do this service, and then that will probably be it. It's been great. Um, let's get the train set up. So we'll set the master key to unlocked. Set the reverse to forward. Um, unlock the doors, which are on the left. Okay, so come on. The chair's over there. There you go. Doors are open. Uh, what was it? 202, wasn't it? 202. Two. That was for Cersei. Um, we we'll put on the system. There you go. Level one. Acknowledge the that we've popped it on. Um, I think that's all good. And then yeah, that's one forty already. Lock the doors and off we go. So we are stopping at Emmenbrucken. Emmenbrucken. Yes, these are the other stations now. Gersag, Rot uh, Rovenberg door, Rovenberg. Sempat, Nuremberghe, um, Notwill, Orbekirch, and then Cersei. So it's going to take, yeah, maybe a little bit longer as there's a few more stations, but we will learn the route at some point. Let's go. Even losing. 3.3 kilometres to Emmenbrucker. So, yeah, so later on, I want to try and play like this. Try my best. Afternoon, Liam. How are you? No worries, Patriot Tower. Thanks for coming in, mate. Have a lovely rest of your day. Afternoon, Liam. How are you? Out we go. All the trains in the depot there. I'm guessing they probably do move. I don't think they are static. Probably AI and drivable. 
Out we go. Sounds good though, the flange sounds. That goes up to 80. So yeah, not, this, is like the, this is like the longest service and we'll do the 8.15. See, it's about half an hour. 3.7 kilometers. So making our way out of losing. I should go up to 80 in a second. You can see the train control system already says go 80. There we go, let's get that up. Up to 80. No, 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 come on. Move, 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 move. There. Let's get that up. Good to hear, Liam. Uh, finally recovered from COVID and feel a lot better now. Awesome, Liam. Goes up to 85 next. So yeah, coming out of the tunnels. We're going through the tunnels as we come out of losing. There we go. What does everyone think of the route so far? Are you a fan? Is it like, yeah, it's alright? Or is it a bit like, nah, nah? What is your uh, thoughts on the route? Lovely. As we make our way through. So yeah, make our way out of uh, losing. So sort of winding our way through the um, city. It goes up to 85 now. So we can get that up, 85. Could you move your video to the left so we can see the speed changes? Very well mentioned. Yes, very well mentioned. Let me do that. And see the cat. No, go out the window. Um, there you go. There's the cat behind. There you go. Apologies. And actually, yeah, I realise that would have been in the way. There we go. Oh my god, two kilometres. Yeah, I think that's all good. It doesn't come out anywhere, does it? Hopefully that's not coming out of the box. One point eight kilometers and we go over the bridge in a second over the river. So Emmonbrooker is just after you go over the river pretty much. So as long as I remember that we should be alright. Hello Tim, it looks detailed, uh, not sure if dovetail games could make uh, such accurate scenery, definitely one of the upsides of rivets routes. Ah. I'll say this probably is uh, rivets best route so far, out of the ones I have done. West Cornwall's good though. Uh, consider it like this at £20, that's a tenner for the train, a tenner for the route, not too bad, not too bad at all. Right, that's just buzz, so I guess that means it's going to start coming down soon, so get ready. So yeah, just after you go over the river, you come up to Edmund. So I'm trying to sort of figure out what whereabouts to stop, so yeah, I, wanna, I don't want to learn this hudless, as I usually do. Oh yeah, all good, yeah, don't worry, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Down we go. So it's just after you cross the river. So you've got Edmund Brooker, Edmund Brooker, gush tag I think it was. Then Rovenberg Dorf, Rovenberg, um, Semper Merschenkircher, and then those other two stations we haven't stopped at yet, which was like Mittal and Orschenkirch. There are nine stations on the route. How you doing, Tim? Well, let's get the doors open. So yeah, Emmenbrucker Gersag. Um which is just round the No cat, I got off. Um Rovenberg Dorf. Like the window's open so you can just easily get out, but no, it decides to meow and wants to go out the main door. I don't know about both ways. <laughs> I'm I'm driving a train. Yeah, go out the other way. Uh Rumberg Dorf, Rovenberg, um Sem oh, Sempak Nuremberg, that's the one. Not Will. 
Oberkirch and then Cersei. Oh, that's probably there, isn't it? We were waffle. Yeah, looking forward to that. Let's uh, get that down. Uh, there we go. And let's get going. Yeah, it's just around the corner. So, Ehrenbrücker Gersag. I'll just remember it as Ehrenbrücker, the other station really close to the main Ehrenbrücker. Ehrenbrücker Gersag. So, I'll be going over the stations as we go along to try and sink them in. Uh, let's get that up. Bit like what we did on Harlem. Sort of go over them in your head and sort of say them out. Best way to learn how to this. So we've had Luzern, Emmenbrucker, and Emmenbrucker Gersag. And it's like Rovenberg, Dorf, Rovenberg, Sempak, Marion, Kircher, Not Will, Oberkirch, and Cersei. There we go, I think that's all of them. So now we just need to know where the locations of them are. So these ones are fairly straightforward to remember. Still take me a few runs on the line to properly think it in. Yep, beep beep. Right, Emin Brooker Gersack, here we are. Let's uh, pop that's coming down quite quickly the needle. Okay, look at the smudge. Smudge the cat is being very hyperactive by the looks of things. Rolling around, trying to knock things down. Very hyperactive, aren't you? Probably being outside on the catnip. Just another lovely day out there. Right, here we are. And then Brooker Gersag. Doors. Let's get them open. Very nice though, isn't it? Very nice chilled out route. And there's S Barn and Express on here. It even gives you the train length as well, which is nice. 71 metres. Which is quite handy as well. Right, doors, get them shut. So the next one is Rovenberg Dorf. Which is in 1.3 kilometres, so very close. Pop that down. There we go. Yeah, Spirit of Steamer, that is going to be a right challenge when that comes out. I can already tell we're going to have, like, we're just going to get stuck tons of times. But that's, that's going to be the fun thing about it. Getting stuck, learning how to do it, and then finally, hopefully, perfecting how to do it. Or just being able to drive from one end to the other without screwing up. That's going to be good, it's going to be fun. going up. Still got 40 people and chat has died out a little bit but how is everyone doing? Thanks all for coming in. That's pretty steep down there. That line going down there. That's really steep. They're coming up to Rovenberg Dorf. There's Pivers, how are you doing Pivers? Yeah, so let's go over the stations in your head sort of as you go along. So Luzon, Emin, uh, Emin Kircher, Emin Kircher, what was it, Gor, Gorjag? Something like that. Or Gorzag, yeah, Emin Kircher, no, I'm already getting it wrong. Emin, Emin, Luzon, Emin Brooker, Emin Brooker, Gorzag, Rovenberg, Dorf, Rovenberg, um, St. Pierre Merchant Kircher, Merian Kircher, not 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 if an Oberkircher than Cersei, something along those lines. Good to hear Pivers. And here we are, Rovenberg Dorf. Here we are. You can see the ETCS coming down there. I think Rovenberg was just up there, wasn't it? It's all very close to one another.
Here we are. Quite a steep grade as well. It's a 1 in 63 up here. Let's have a look. Yeah, Emma Rekka Gersag. Luzon, Emma Rekka, Emma Rekka Gersag. Rovenberg Dorf, Rovenberg. St. Pierre, Marion, Kirchner. Notif, Oberkirche, and Cersei. But not, not we. Not will. Not will. Same thing. Let's get the door shut. I'm guessing it's about a kilometre to. Maybe not even that. At oh, 1.9, alright. Okay, a bit of a way then. How's the forklift in getting on, Pivers? Well, one thing we haven't done, actually. Sorry, passengers. Boom. There you go. We still got 40 uh, on the safety system, so I should go up in a sec. There you go. Up to 110, I think that would be. Can we try and get up to 60 likes? I'm on 57 at the moment. There's a little bit of speed along here, not too much though. I'm guessing Dorf must be south or something like that. Afternoon Jasper, how are you? New profile pick as well, is that a tractor? Class one? Yeah, it's, it's out now, Jasper. It's a well, we're not out on Steam yet. I think Steam's another sort of hour or so, and Epic Games another couple of hours. The brakes on this are very good, so don't worry about coming into stops. Fair enough, Pivers. Go to Jasper. Oh, it's a John Deere, is it? 9RX410. Well, I'm going through the stations again. Got to keep repeating it. Luzon, Emmenbrecher, Emmenbrecher Gorsag, Rovenbergdorf and Rovenberg. St. Pierre, Marienkirche, Notwe, Oberkirche and Cersei. There you go. There's nine stations, so it's fairly straightforward, I guess. That's Harlem was 19. Well, we still did that. Easily. And here we are. Hold on, was 1800 on Steam. Well, that makes sense then, because I saw the, um, oh, on the Steam page, it said something about, it said like, it offer ends in 17 hours, and I was thinking, well, I thought Steam was 2 pm. So maybe it is then, maybe it is now. 1800. I'm not really sure why it would have changed. And that's maybe because consoles now later they will have make PC later, I don't know. Hello Gamecast, how are you? Yeah, it was quite dark, wasn't it, Artful on the last one? So Sam Pia Mario and Kircher next. Accelerating brake very well. Five kilometers. I don't think you'd go straight into max there, but let's try and be on time. Yes, impact. Oh, new in Kircher. Not Marion Kircher. Where's Marion Kircher from? Marion Kircher. I think that's from Munich to Augsburg, Marion Kircher. It's new in Kircher. Fair enough, uh, Artful. I always get people going to moan about something silly. That tree's in the wrong place. Not having it, not getting it. <laughs> There's always a few. Let's get that up. More than three kilometres. Can we go past? I'm guessing that is supposed to be an IKEA ideal, because like, the advert for ideal was like a stool. I'm guessing it probably is supposed to be an IKEA. Obviously licensing. 
They mostly use the higher horn. All right. And after this stop, it's then sort of going along the lake. That is whiz spot. It's almost been two hours already. It will be finished once we get to Circe. It's been good. Very positive first look and enjoying it. It's been a couple of really good releases um, in the past week or so. Obviously, Hard Online by Dovetail Games. I mean, that is just amazing. This route as well. Uh, very, very good. Now, I suppose the next route to release would be Horseshoe Curve. So, if you're into your US freight stuff, that'll be another good one. I can't imagine that will be long. Hello Sean, off work this week due to getting COVID, getting better now, it's to help. That's a good Sean, sorry to hear mate. I won't be surprised if I get it, I mean the rest of the people and their family have it at the moment. Luckily I don't at the moment. But don't worry, I still will be streaming, <laughs> so it's all good. The stream must continue. Point eight. Let's so start bringing that down. I remember it was back in, uh, what was it, back in December when I was feeling sick and all. Still streams. So it uh, need, needs to be done. Right, let's uh, pop that down. So send pack new in Kirch. Should start, yeah, should start. Well, we're a little bit early coming down there. Yeah, now it's buzzing, look. You start seeing it's coming down. Sounds very similar to the TVM430 noise when the speed changes. And down we go. Right, going through the station list again. So you've got Luzon. Emmen -E 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 Brooker, isn't it? Emmen Brooker. Emmen Brooker. Gorstag. Uh, Rovenberg Dorf, Rovenberg, uh, and now this one, which is Sempak, Neuenkirch, Notwe, Oberkirch, and Cersei. That's smart, it's only going off the snow. Uh, not good to sure. Not too sure, Liam. Uh, it was good last time. Maybe tonight, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But it was good last time. Here we are. We get that down. Down to 40 or so. So this is pretty much like the AFB this is. There. So did you drive them in Switzerland then, Fern? I don't know if you... I know you think it's slightly different ones. Not really sure where flirt trains are already. I know we've got some here in the UK, which are fairly modern, or fairly recent. Right, there you go. Five kilometres now to Notwe. <clears throat> let's get the brakes off and let's get going. Only downside at GT. Oh, they're, they're down now. Wait, I wonder if they go up and down then. As last time we saw these, they were down. No, they were up. Oh, the cat is climbing on top of the chair, onto the dryer. She really is uh, hyperactive. She's never done that before. Will they go up? As, yeah, last time they were up. So I'm guessing there are working level crossings on here. Yeah, there's working level crossings on here. Cool. Well, I think we had that on West Cornwall as well, didn't we? Oh, brilliant, firm. Where's the PIS guide for Cersei? 202 for the S1. Netherlands have loads as well. Yeah. That's a nice route, very different from Rosa. Yeah. I don't know what sort of part of Switzerland this is in. I think this is southern Switzerland. I remember looking at Google Maps before of the route. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. 
not a standard gauge as well on the left hand side as well um, it's nice and it's a flirt train as well hey, so what does everyone think Rivet's next route will be I would imagine it will be quite a while until we do see it on the road map because it's probably still in planning uh, but yeah what do you think the next route will be as I was they've done a two British routes no three British routes and two Swiss routes so, no, not um. Oh, they did. No, they did work on Cathcart. Well, no, yeah, that was they've done Isle of Wight and West Cornwall. So two and two at the moment. Yeah, because they did um a British route, Cathcart Circle. Uh, well, they helped dovetail of that Central Switzerland, according to Jasper. Yeah, Rivet is a British uh, developer. Same with Dovetail. I think Skyhook are British as well. And then TSG, German developer. So we're getting more third parties um, coming up, which is great. But yeah, I wonder what Rivet's next route will be. Maybe a British one again. No, it's much. Right, coming up to Not Will. Austria, maybe. Maybe. do Gotthard Barn. That would be cool though, because seeing that route, that would look great. Pretty scary as well, winding down the side of a mountain, really steep grey, going through tons of tunnels on tight corners. Fair enough, Daniel. They could do a new Isle of Wight train as a loco DLC, what, the 484? Maybe. I would imagine that would do quite well. But then you'd have to upgrade the whole of the um, Isle of Wight, or the island line. What um, American train sim developers are there? I suppose that would sort of be maybe the next uh, third party developer we see, uh, an American one. I suppose it could be any, really. Have they started operating out of what, the new train? Yes, uh, yes, they have. That'd be cool, Toby, hopefully. Their door's open. Yeah, it's great to see more uh, third-party developers getting involved with the game, as that means more frequent DLC, more variety in DLC, so it's very, very good to see. Obviously, originally it was just Dovetail, and that was Rivet, and then I think Skyhook joined, then TSG, and now Just Trains. So it's great to get more companies working on it. Right, uh, it is Oberkirch next. Right, time to go through the stations again. Boston Freight. So yeah, you've got... Uh, is it Emmen Brook or Emmen Kirch? Yeah. Is it Brooker, isn't it? Yeah, so Luzon, Emmen Brooker, Emmen Brooker Gorsag, Rovenberg, Dorf, Rovenberg, Sampia, Neurekirch, um, Notwe, Oberkirch, Oberkirch and then Cersei. Yeah, so we'll get there learning it. We will do it eventually. Hopefully by later today. <coughs> Maybe then you'll have to wait and see. Maybe it's a big project they're working on. It's very yes, it looks nice out there, Amanda. Probably won't be going out today though, so probably miss out on the <laughs> nice weather. Maybe sit in the garden at most. Yes, yeah, so this is Oberkirch coming up here then, sort of this um, village. So we're sort of getting a little bit further away from the lake canal, that is still there. Let's coast that. I guess that will be yellow on there. Yeah, that's a yellow on there. So that will then kick off the ETCS, which you can already see starting to come down. Yeah, I think possibly later today, tomorrow, we'll be able to do this route like this. Uh, 
Uh, maybe help him with the route work for Liverpool to Manchester, maybe. That would be nice, Mr Adams, but we're both busy today, so... And here we are. Overcatch. Mark before that. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Doors. What are these barriers supposed to be here? Ah, oh, that's probably for bikes, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably a fairly good idea to stop bikes. I know. People cycling off and rolling onto the track somehow. You can have the bus run in there next to the station. Bringing people. Oh, they actually spawn. Oh, that's, I like that. That's nice. Look, that where the AI spawns, it's behind the bus. So it almost looks like they've just got off the bus to get to the station. That's cool. I guess same for the other side as well. Yeah. So sort of a spawn behind the bus. And it looks like they've just got off the bus to come uh, to the station. Like that. Let's badge come up over there. How does driving this train work? Pretty much just this. Just the uh, one uh, throttle one brake. Actually, early as well, somehow. How does that work? So, my fleet's off for the first time in months. Lovely, Adam. Yeah, it's a fairly easiest train to drive. It's very nice. Let's uh, watch it going out. It's not too far to uh, see, it's just along there, but we can. It's a bit risky watching it go out. If we go about 40, let's put that down. And we should be then all right. Yeah, Cersei in two kilometres. Yeah, it's nice and artful. And off we go. Still says 40 on the uh, control system. Uh, the nice about the e brake on the foot is, and the computer system realising that the braking force is not enough, it will automatically add in some air brake to compensate. That's not too bad then, Fern. Helps you out a little bit then. So, oi, don't, you're not braking enough, have a little bit of this. <laughs> they do up for, yeah. Hello Oscar, it's a platform 2C. That's now gone up, so that's up to... We don't need to go too quick, I mean it's literally just there at the station. I think it was 70 into the station, I think. So let's go like that for now. Don't want to risk it. We have our full, yeah. Have some of that. There we go. <laughs> the windows with the mirrors come up. Right, we're going to stop bringing that down. These trains in my country run from the railway station to the airport. Awesome, Kimmy. Hello, Turbine. How the, how's the FPS? We're on the PC, so not as good as it is on the PS5. About 43. I think I've locked it to that. Don't ask why it's such a random number. <laughs> yeah, 43. So, running smoothly. Any, anything above 30. Run smoothly, so. But on this route, uh, overall, it, yeah, FPS is fine. There's not many places where it drops. It's just been, uh, yeah, well, well optimized. Well, the Harlem line, it's like the Harlem line was really well optimized as well. No, it, no lag on that, never, on the um, PS5. Probably same for this route as well. So they've been down there uh, quite well. Oh, we're stopping there, are we? There's the red there. So yeah, that's another cool thing about this route. It is end to end. Um, so once you get to Cersei, you then go straight back. You don't. It doesn't continue on off the map. So you can just sit going backwards and forth all day, which is nice. 
and that quite well you don't get much of a break as well it is out quite quickly that's actually when it is going back and it goes back in three two minutes you don't get much of a break and that then goes back so yeah it's from here it would be Cersei Oberkirch not we uh, Sempe, Mar uh, Sempe Nurenkirch, Rov Rovenberg, Rovenbergdorf, Emma Brooker, Gossag, Emma Brooker, and Lurzen. There we go, that's all the stations on there. Nice. Uh, anyway, that is going to be it, everyone, for my first look at the Lurzen 2 Cersei line. Very positive. Um, not really any issues with that. Um, nice route. Uh, what was, what, how did I describe it for? Very scenic what was it? it was like a very very nice scenic journey in a very nice state of the art modern flirt train it's it's great it's a lovely route uh, it is actually below the usual price of routes i believe it's 20 pounds or 19.99 so 20 quid uh, and it's out now on playstation and xbox and later on it will be out on pc and epic games or steam and epic games uh, but yeah a very nice route bit cheaper as well Lovely train, lovely route, scenic, nice. Yeah, it's just, it's just a nice nice journey from uh, Cersei here in Toulouse and sort of going along the lake, then sort of into the countryside a bit more and then sort of winding your way into the sea. It's nice. And it's also nice to have the European train control system as well, which is fairly easiest to use. Anyway, I'll be back later and we'll be back on this route, either on the PlayStation 5 or on the PC again. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all and take care. Bye guys. Actually, just to mention what before we do end, thanks to Dovetail for giving us the key to show it off. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.